In Google Docs, on the Tools section of the Toolbar menu, there's the Research Tool. Today I want to show you how you can use the Research Tool when you're creating a research paper to grab images and citations for you. So when you click on Tools up at the Toolbar and you go down to Research, it opens up a second window over here. In the Research section of the Toolbar, you can search for everything on Google just in a normal Google search. So this is about Pride and Prejudice, so maybe we want to look up um, Jane Austen. It does that, it looks for images, web results, as well as many other options. Now, let's say we want to use this image of Jane Austen in our research paper. All we have to do is click on it and drag it to our research paper. And we do notice there is a one next to it. That one is actually citing the picture. So that way, when we look down on this paper, it's already footnoted right here where exactly they pulled it from. Now, let's say we want to get a little more specific and we want to look at things specifically, scholarly articles about Jane Austen. So we can actually grab. All of these notations over here within scholarly research of Jane Austen and the books as well as anything that was written about Jane Austen. Now if we want to see what it looks like we can actually click on the PDF and that will open up an actual PDF of Jane Austen's novel or of the the art scholar article. We can also cite this and say that we pulled this book or this writing right here, based on this work. Right here. We could then cite as a footnote, and it adds a footnote down below where our picture is. Let us say that picture actually needs to be down here below this first paragraph. You notice that now our footnote still there and the citation is there as well. So we're going to put this back up here. Now that's the research tool. But let's say so we're going to use these two. We want to make a work cited. Now this one's already made it has a work cited. There's a lot of hanging and dance and we this is MLA style and all that. Now, let's show you how they, he did that. One of the ways you can do that on Google Tools is that if you use the add-on, go to Get Add-ons, look for the add-on Easy Bib. It's right here, but a lot of times you might just need to search for Easy Bib. I'll do a search for it, you click free. Allow for it to access the components it needs. That will then launch a new sidebar over here under EasyBib and Manage Bibliography. Now, when we manage bibliography, go back up to the top, grab our citations. And since this is a website, choose a website, search for it, an extra carrot on the end, update the carrot off, very inwards to the .jpg, we're going to search for it. I'm also going to search for Persuasion. So we're looking for a book. Persuasion right here. 
Maybe this is the book. I'll find the one that was used. It's hard to search for it, so actually you can just do this. It gives you a little better results. And there's your book right here. So we're going to click select. It says, is this the one you want? And you're going to say add to bibliography. Now, if you look right here, there's a drop down arrow on the far right. And we have all these options. So if this was not an English paper, this was a science paper or some other paper that needed these different versions of citations, we could use that. So today we're going to use MLA. We did change it to say Chicago. We actually changed the styling. So it's changing the styling as we change the different formatting. Click Add to Bibliography. So now we go all the way down here to the bottom. We've got a works side and our correct citation. So again, we've used the tools and the research tool. Now, research tool is found both in Google Docs as well as in Google Slides. And the Easy Bib add-on is only found on Google Docs. So I hope that's helpful.